Researchers at a prestigious Norwegian university studied 90 species of animals to determine which make the best pets. Surprisingly, dogs and cats do not make the cut. But some very odd creatures did. So we checked with the pros to see if having these exotic animals as pets is a good idea. You have to have that knowledge of what you're getting into and really know and care about providing the best quality of life you can for that animal. Josh Crabtree of the Phoenix Zoo introduced us to three of the animals from the research study to see how well they'll do in your home. Scampering to the top of our list, the white-nosed coati. I can see a few reasons why Edward here would make a good pet. He's cute, he's agile. What are some of the cons? He's got some very large claws, mm -hmm. some very large teeth, but the big problem with them is just their intelligence. It's basically taking on a small child. They're that intelligent. So with claws. It, yes, if you don't have the time to devote to them, that can be trouble for them. I'm already busy ignoring my human children. <laughs> exactly. Can't ignore Edward too. <laughs> no, you cannot do that. A two-humped behemoth trots into the second spot on our list. In general, camels are pretty well known for being stubborn animals, and both species can get pretty large over a thousand pounds. Our friend Dale here eats hundreds of dollars of hay each week. He can drink 53 gallons of water in three minutes. You'll need some big wee-wee pads, but there might be benefits to owning one. This pet could not only take me to Ikea, he could also carry the furniture back. Could do that. Could also go the wrong direction and not want to respond to you going mm -hmm. back to the house. Mm -hmm. so. I get it. Finally, the little armored one. Named by the Spanish conquistadors, it translates to armadillo. Who wouldn't want an armadillo as a pet? Although they have the cute factor, in my opinion, mm -hmm. they are an insectivore, so they have a very specialized diet. Okay. Again, you can't go to the store and just buy a bag of armadillo food. Then there's the disease some can carry. Leprosy and nine-banded oh. armadillos. MRSA has been tracked to some armadillos as well. The real question for a pet owner is not which animal's best for them, it's which animal are they best for. Ask not what your pet can do for you, but what you can do for your pet. Perfect. Wild pets on the top of the list. 